I don't want to cut my hair. I'm going to let it grow. Little Toby, she let her hair grow all the way down to her knees. It was curly and twisty and bouncy and big. Some of the children teased her. Some of the grown-ups were alarmed, but her friends liked her any way at all. Puppies snuggled in her hair. Little goats nibbled it. A robin built a nest with it. Sometimes candies got stuck in her hair. Sometimes her hair got tangled up in the trees. But Toby didn't care. She loved having long hair. Toby's mother said, Long hair is too much trouble. It's always falling in your face. Sometimes you can't even see where you're going. And this was true. One day, Toby fell right into a duck pond. There was an enormous splash. Ducks and fish and frogs and feathers went flying in all directions. Mother went racing to the water. Are you all right? Toby wasn't hurt. But her hair was all tangled up with turtles and fish and frogs and snails. You look like a mermaid. Then Mother carefully untangled all the creatures. And soon that mermaid began to look like Toby again. On their way home that day, they walked by the barber shop. Little Toby, your hair is so big. Let me cut it nice and short. No, thank you. I'm going to let my hair grow forever. Someday I will have the longest hair in the whole world. Oh my. Won't that be awfully heavy? It will be heavy, but I will have one zebra, two camels, three leopards and a crow, two toucans, four chicks, one hippo and a mouse, just to help me carry my hair. They will follow me everywhere. Please, Toby, let him cut your hair. You don't need long hair in the summertime. It's too hot. But I need long hair in the winter. It keeps me warm. So warm that I can go tobogganing in my swimming suit. Finally, one day, Toby and her mother were getting ready for a family picnic. Toby's hair kept falling in the food. Her mother had a fit. That's it! No more hair! Toby jumped, and that scared the cat. The cat jumped and bumped the flower. Flower went flying in the air and spilled all over Toby's hair. Toby went racing out into the yard. Grandfather had just arrived and watched her run. Nobody understands. I understand. I know all about hair. Toby was surprised. Grandfather, you don't have any hair. I used to have long hair. It was curly, just like yours. Grandfather took an old photograph out of his wallet and showed her. Oh, Grandfather, I like you with long hair. Do you like me with no hair? Of course I do. I love you any way at all. Mother wants me to cut my hair but I have a better idea. Toby and her grandfather went inside. They washed all the flour out of Toby's hair. Bubbles filled the bathroom and floated out the window. Grandfather brushed out the tangles. They dried Toby's hair, braided it, and put in ribbons. Soon the family picnic began. Oh, Toby, your hair looks so pretty today. Mother hugged her. Father was pleased. Everyone had a wonderful time. When the picnic was over, Mother and Toby went for a walk. They untied the ribbons and took out the braids. Toby's hair tumbled in all directions. Ribbons are perfect for parties, but your hair is beautiful this way too. And as they walked, Evening came, 
and Starlight got tangled up in Toby's hair. <laughs>